Statewide Texas TV show you can watch right here on KFDX and a construction company are teaming up to give a local food bank a much needed new home. Darren Mullen has more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. For close to 40 years, Ira Luttrell has brought food and smiles to the people of Wichita Falls through Floral Heights Community Food Pantry. In his 95 years, he's seen it all, from the pantry's humble beginnings. When we first started, there would be three of us come down here and volunteer, and we did the sacking and the whole thing. And sometime we'd spend all morning down here, we wouldn't have a customer. To its current expansion. Now, on, on Tuesdays, when it's vegetable day, we've had as many as 150 in a day. The pantry has grown so much that their current setup may not be big enough. That's where Texas Country Reporter and Mueller Inc. come in. The TV show and the construction company created the Helping Hands Project, a partnership that donates newly constructed buildings to local nonprofits. Texas Country Reporter also produces a special episode to showcase the nonprofit and their work. It's great for just sharing the word. Um, other people may see it and think, oh, we'd love to do a food pantry like that. And maybe it'll just it'll start something new in, in other places in Texas. The new building will give the food bank more than just a permanent location. It will give them tons more storage space, and that means more room for cereal, macaroni and cheese, and, of course, cookies. The new facility will be built over three days in early October, and the Texas Country Reporter episode will air the week after Thanksgiving, right here on KFDX. On Texas Country Reporter. But for now, Ira and the other volunteers will keep on serving up food and smiles. It's kind of got to be a way of life. It's, it's, as a matter of fact, what keeps me alive. Whoa! Darren Mullen, KFDX 3 News. Now, Prickett also says more donations will be needed to furnish the new facility.